Hi everybody, I'm Scott Black with Sanitary Equipment. Some of you know me, some of you don't. We're just gonna take a few minutes and walk through the repair and cause for a safety tab failure on your junk lugger unit. This truck right here is not one of your franchise units. However, it is the same hoist. This is a Stellar 108-12. So it has the same safety features, everything that you're used to running. Uh, and we're just gonna go through the cause first of why this unit would fail at the safety tabs. All right, so the reason this unit failed 100% of the time when these bolts break, it's because this, this section, this is your articulating section, was articulated prior to coming down all the way, and it came into contact with this tab. When it comes into contact with the tab, tab drops, bolt breaks, this bracket pops up. It's a very, very easy in-field repair. You're gonna need two, two inch by quarter inch, grade five or less bolts with nylon lock nuts for this repair. Best thing to do is to grab a half dozen, keep them in your cab, keep them in the glove box, so when you do have a failure, you'll be able to do repair quickly. You're gonna need two wrenches, either ratchet style or open box. All right, right now, when you have a failure, you're gonna notice this bracket has popped up. Now, the majority of the time that you guys are gonna have this failure, this in and out function stops working. 100% of the time, the in and out function stops working. But the majority of the time, you guys are gonna have a container on this system. You do not wanna do this repair with a container over you. You never wanna work under hydraulics. So the first thing we have to do to clear the container is bypass the system. That's by bypassing the system, we're gonna allow this in and out section to work so we can offload and clear the container. To do that, it's very simple. Right now, this bracket is popped up. The reason this bracket is popped up is because you have the safety plunger right here. You want to make sure that this bracket stays on top of this safety plunger. You're going to push down. You're going to see this ear or tooth and, a, and the uh, Allen bolt hole. You're going to come over and you're going to push the bracket over. Now what we do is we're dep this is depressing this plunger. It's going to allow us to use this in and out function and clear the container. I'm going to demonstrate that right now. All right, once we've, once we've bypassed that system, we can operate this hook as normal. So we're going to go ahead at this point, we can hit out. Now we can hit up. We're gonna clear the container all the way over so that there's no chance for these uh, hydraulics to fail and something to come down on you or your operator. Even though there's no container on this system, we're gonna go ahead and clear it all the way over to show the example. All right, once we're cleared all the way over, we're gonna go ahead and turn off the vehicle. And now we can go over to our workstation and finish this repair. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and move this bracket back off this tooth, just like that. So now we're in the original failed position. We're gonna lift this tab up. We're gonna push the bracket down. We wanna make sure that all the holes are aligned. Again, no washer. We're gonna take our nylon lock nut. And then at this point, we still do not have a solid repair. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten everything down. We want to make sure it's nice and tight. And now this safety tab is repaired. This hook lift's going to operate as normal. You can load and unload your container. You do have a safety tab on the other side. When this side fails, the other side is 100% going to fail. The only difference is on this side compared to that side, the street side, or I'm sorry, the curb side is not going to have a safety bypass. You just need to lift the tab up Put the bolt in, put the nylon lock nut, and wrench it down, and you're good to go. But remember, if 
you're going to repair one, you got to repair both because they both failed. And to not have another failure, just always remember to go all the way out with the hook system. Before you come down, if there's any doubt whether or not you're all the way down, go ahead and hit out. It's not going to hurt anything. You can hit out, you'll hear the hydraulics bind, you know you're already all the way out. You can come down, tuck your jib in, and you're good to go. As long as you do it that way every single time, you will never have this failure. But everyone messes up. If it happens, that's how you fix it, quick and easy.